because you choose to have cats that you let out and are outdoor cats, that doesn't entitle you to invade somebody else's property with your domestic animals. Ma'am. You wouldn't like it if he created a situation where his dogs would come on your property and defecate on your back lawn on a regular basis. You wouldn't like that. Your responsibility, now that you know that your neighbors is annoyed by your cats, is to keep your cats in your house. May I, Your Honor? Yeah, sure. They had never come to us at that point and told us our cats were Just a, a second. I'm asking you subsequent to June 3rd of 2016, do you let your cats out? They pretty much live in our garage. They do go out in and out, but there's That's other true. cats in their neighborhood. Listen to me. There's many. I, listen to me. Yes, I ma'am. don't care about other cats in the neighborhood. I'm talking to you about your cats. Yes, ma'am. And your cats are not contained. So to me, if you like your pet and you don't want your pet to be injured, and you have three cats, you keep them in your house. Now, that's not what this lawsuit is about. No. <laughs> but I have to tell you, if you think that I think that you do the right thing, I don't. Now let's get to your lawsuit. Your lawsuit is that Mr. and Mrs. Johnson sprayed a tree that was on their property and oversprayed the tree with some toxic chemical that caused you illness. You had to have your air conditioning system cleaned out. Who had a, a breathing problem? Raise your hand. You had breathing problems like some people have when they have cat allergies. No. No. Asthma, no, listen to, listen to me. Listen to me. Yes, like ma'am. some people have when they have cat allergies. They can't breathe. Mm. I know that. So first, I'd like to see a picture of where the tree is. And am I correct? The majority of this tree is on their property. Yes, ma'am. What your complaint is that they sprayed something on the tree that caused damage to your property and your health. Yes. Okay. So first we need an expert to tell us what the property was that they sprayed on this tree. We have hazmat reports. It was melathione. I'd like to see There's a report right here, and it talks about... Shh, don't, 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 don't tell me what it talks about. Are these two products, Mr. Johnson, products that you obtained at a store? That's correct, Your Honor. What store did you obtain them at? Home Depot. And they're both readily for sale. That's correct. And you apply them to the tree, these two products. Why? We had an infestation of aphids on the tree, Your Honor. What did you use to spray them? The pesticide spray bottle has a wand with a little battery-powered sprayer that sprays about one, one and a half to two I'd feet. I'd like to see a photograph of it. This you don't want. Mm -hmm. It's just the inside. Oh. Anybody have the back of this? Yes. So I could see what the warnings are? Okay. I would like you, Mr. and Mrs. Gray, to read the warnings on the back of this. Your Honor. And see, I'm speaking. Two ears and one mouth. I've just read the entire back of that. It says it shouldn't be sprayed near aquatics because it's damaging to fish, could be damaging to reptiles. Don't swallow it. If it gets in your eyes, wash immediately, wash your hands, because it's clear from reading this report that they sprayed a tree because it had aphids with products that they bought at a local Home Depot. They sprayed the tree in accordance we have no evidence that it wasn't sprayed in accordance with the directions that were on the back. So in order to be successful with your lawsuit, you have to tell me that they did something negligently. 